Okay, so I've made a new project here. I've called it Input Numbers, and I want you guys to try and make the same project yourself. See if you can get that up and running, making your first project. I've also zoomed in a bit. I guess some of you want the text to be a bit bigger. So I'm, I'm, you just see the main class here of my new program. Now, this new program, I have the following problem. Whenever I read something from the console, if I mouse over here, it'll explain to me, you're always getting in a string. But what if I want a number instead? A string, think of strings as text. Every time you need a text, you'll use the word string. That's just a general rule right now. We might convert that later. But right now, you'll use a string whenever you have a text. But when you have a number, you're going to use another type called int. And here I have the int guy. But what if I want to convert this guy, a string, into an int? Well, can I just type int here? No. The IDE, your development environment, explains to you that's not allowed. You cannot convert, here it says, cannot implicitly convert type string to int. It cannot do that for you. You have to do something yourself. Okay, let's convert. Let's just write string here again. So how do I change the number that I'm getting in from the ins outside as a string into an actual number? Okay, I have to use a try pass. Now here things start getting scary. I must admit that. You have to use this a few times before it makes sense. But what do we have here? First of all, I'm going to make a new int value and I'm going to call it the number. The string value that you're reading in, I'm going to call it the number as a string, okay? And then integer, the int class or structure actually has a way for you to call a function called try pass. What the try pass will do is it'll take a string, it'll try and convert it for you into a number. If it succeeds, it'll return true. If it fails, it'll return false, okay? So I'm using the if statement saying, try to pass this number, and if you pass it, then you'll send the number into the number, this guy, and then you'll print it out. If you cannot convert it into a number, you just won't execute this line right here. Hope that makes sense. Let's put in the breakpoint and let's try and run our new program here. Try and read the code a few times. Try and see if you can understand what's actually going on. I do know this is rather complex and we will, as we move forward, this is just a crash course. We'll use a lot of these things as we move forward. So I just wanted you guys to see some code and try and write some code just to get going. We start up the application and um, type in a number and I I'll just write uh, D, D, that's not a number. So it said not a number, you didn't see that. Let me just do a read line here so we have more time. Console, console dot read line. There we go, and let's try and run it again. And it'll, it'll, if the if statement is not correct, it'll pop up and say that's not a number, right? And if it is correct, it should pop up and say this is a number. So let's try again, I'll start it again. And uh, this time I'll put in an actual number. And look at this, here's the breakpoint. What does the breakpoint say? I'm going to write this. And the number is actually set to 111 now. Let's try and run it. The number was 111. And then we still do this. How do you fix that? Try to figure it out yourself. I hope you figured it out now or else just pause me because I'm going to show you the, the solution. Of course you want to do an else statement. So what we want to do here is we want to say else. That doesn't say else. Else is spelled differently. Try to figure that one out. There we go. Else. This is not a number. Let's try and start it again. Let's try and write um, 10 again. That is definitely a number. And it'll pop up and say the number was 10. Okay, so I want you guys to... You've seen try pass now, of course, just <laughs> very basic of it. I'll try and explain it one more time what it, actually, what it actually does. So we read in the line as a string. Now we have a string. We have banana. I want to change it into an orange. So I have a banana orange converter machine and that's called the try pass. So by saying try pass sending in the string and outing the number, that means that I'm allowed to change this value inside this function. We'll dig into that as we start doing methods, but the out keyword right here just means that you are allowed to convert this, the number, inside this function. If that wasn't there, I wasn't allowed. Okay, so if this returns true, that means that I could actually convert the string into a number. If it returns false, 
it means I could not convert the orange into a banana. So maybe you gave me a pear and I'm an orange to banana converter, then I wouldn't be able to do it. But if you give me an orange, I can do it for you, right? So that's what this guy is all about. So try to understand the program and then convert it into something where you use a while loop instead of an if statement. So just keep going until you get a number in there. Good luck with that. See you in the next lesson.